Well, good morning, everybody. Welcome back. Today is May the 10th, and I am 37 weeks pregnant today. I can't believe it. We've made it full term. There's no chance of having a preemie baby now. We still have a few more weeks to get him plump and ready and full size, but um, he should be happy, healthy, and ready anytime. And that is such exciting news. This nasal congestion, definitely still there, but I don't have that kind of exhausted, yucky, horrible feeling. So I'm guessing this is probably more just pregnancy related and that I'm really feeling fine. So nights are still really tough. Um, snoring has become quite an issue. I wear the Breathe Right strips. I'm still sleeping propped up on pillows, which causes a lot of hip pain. Um, I find because I'm propped up like that, that the pressure on my hips on my side just like really starts to hurt. And if I'm in a really deep sleep, by the time I wake up, it is like excruciatingly painful, um, where I never had that when I was lying flat. So where bed and sleeping was always my haven <laughs> up until this point in the pregnancy, it is now really uncomfortable and um, it's good to get up in the morning. <laughs> Um, I have been getting up quite frequently to pee in the night, so those are times when I'm able to flip and go on the other side for a while. Um, and I'm getting through okay, um, but definitely some hip pain. Um, this week has also brought a new level of itching to my stomach. My oils that I'm making is just not quite keeping up. I'm still using it a couple of times a day before, I mean, after my shower or after a bath or that kind of thing, I use my oils. Um, but I did purchase some Palmer's cocoa butter and I've been using this in between. So I'll probably apply this about three times during the day and then my oils about twice a day. And um, it's taken down some of the itch. You can definitely see like dry skin though on my, on my tummy. It smells lovely. I love the smell of cocoa butter. Anyway, so that's one purchase I've had to make this week. Our midwife appointment this week went fine. Um, nothing really new to report. Uh, we did do the GBS testing and um, that got sent away so we should know results by next week. As a mother, I'm sure we read into things way too much for little things that they say, um, but as she was palpating around my abdomen um, and feeling the baby, she called him small and it's still a little worrisome. I don't know how big he should be, um, but if she calls him just a small little guy, um, I definitely didn't feel like he was very small. I feel like he's huge. <laughs> but um, hearing that makes me think um, if we can make it those three weeks, um, that would be great and um, fully get him up to size. And if um, small, just means that he's normal and average and doing good, um, then that's fine too. Um, but didn't like her using that word, I guess. I also went to the health center in town. Um, they've now got a program that's two classes long for prenatal classes. We went to one a couple of months ago on um, new baby development and bonding and things like that. This one was on labor and delivery breastfeeding, and new infant care. And it was a joke. If, if this is all that people get for information, I am... <laughs> it's no wonder that people are nervous about having a baby or that the labor and delivery is so scary. They don't know anything. It was um, shocking to... Um, yeah, just hear the how little information people get in those um, classes. Basically covered um, the three stages of labor. Nothing that you can really expect or how long or things like that. It covered breastfeeding pretty good. Um, sort of. Didn't have a whole lot of like, didn't go into benefits or things like that. Just more like the manipulation and how it's done. Which may or may not be the case, <laughs> um, the way this instructor was teaching. And um, then the new infant care was like, they'll teach you how to bathe your baby at the hospital and um, shaken baby syndrome stuff. So it was like 
this is all the information you're giving us. Um, it was supposed to be a two hour class, we were out in an hour and 15 minutes, and yeah, I was um, less educated by the time I left. <laughs> so um, definitely a little bit that um, the public health department could work on. Um, my only other real symptom this week is some crazy nesting. I'm finally getting some of the stuff I wanted to get done. I um, was able to set everything up for our home birth and I kind of just got it all prepared. Thank you guys for a few more um, ideas and I've added a couple more things um, to that as well as I got to the hospital peg pack just in case. There's um, not a whole heck of a lot in there because we're only going if there's an emergency and really the hospital has a lot of the supplies and everything that we'd need at that point. If there's an emergency or something going on, I'm more worried about just a few comfort items and how we're going to get home. Um, I've also been working on a few other things. Um, I've been making my own breast pads. I'll do a video on that shortly. And um, yeah, just getting this place all cleaned up and ready to go. Um, my girlfriend Nikki and my mom are hosting a baby shower here tomorrow. So I feel like it's pretty clean. It's um, all ready to go. And I'm going to do a fruit buggy for that. If I can get my hands on a watermelon. I can't seem to find a watermelon. So it's the only thing holding me back. So I may make a video on that one as well. Just because I think they're really super cute. And um, that is about it for this week, I think. I'll do a quick belly shot for you. Because I feel like it's really changing every week. Um, I'm not sure if we've dropped yet. But... Maybe. I still get quite winded. They say it really relieves your breathing, so I don't know that that's it. It just feels like I woke up one morning, morning and it was, he was sitting a lot lower. So I'll go and give you a belly shot and that will be it for this week. All right. I'll leave the shirt down for this moment. And this side. This shirt is actually one of my shirts from pre-pregnancy. It's bamboo, super soft, just love it. Oh, that was one other thing this week. The top of um, my belly button was getting a bit infected. It's definitely cleared up now, um, but I don't think I'm gonna put the ring back in it. So, it's healing just fine. No pain or anything, but it was starting to worry me. So that one came out. And there we have it. Week 27, we're full term. Thanks everybody, I'll see you next week.